So the diesel engine and other combustion engines represent a really important part of the shipping industry because they are essentially a very compact and efficient way of converting fuel energy into uh, mechanical energy and propulsion. Diesel has also been able to show continuous improvement in a way that there is, has been no real need for, for new fuel solutions. So diesel engines and, um, and other types of engines are coming under threat now because a number of things are happening in the industry. We have a climate change and it has a requested now new regulations and uh, they are much more difficult to fulfill with the diesel engines. There is also a lot of stuff happening on the automobile side of things. The industry is making things like batteries cheaper, fuel cells cheaper, um, and along with this also you have a public opinion that's changing. LNG is transforming shipping now. It's, it's very interesting technology to be used in, in, in wider and wider vessel types. And uh, then this carbon-free technology is now, with the help of the fuel cells, coming a, a truly to the market. And, and uh, there we have a great, great opportunities for the future. The battery will come to play an increasingly important part in the shipping industry. First, we now see them in uh, ferries with short uh, transit times, where they actually replace the engine completely. You have plug-in charging at either end, um, and it seems to be working really well. Next, uh, we also see them on board other vessels as um, supporting elements in the power plant. And with the advent of uh, fuel cells and the like, I think that this will just continue and spread to other vessel segments as well. Fuel cell is a chemical reaction, which is a 10 turns to the electricity. We have hydrogen ions and it's oxidizing there. So you start with hydrogen and oxygen and uh, you can combine these together and take out energy and make it do work for you. You can do this through a combustion engine where you essentially set fire to it, it explodes, it makes something move. Or you can put it through a fuel cell. In the fuel cell it's essentially like a battery where you have refillable uh, fuel. So the difference between the two is that when you avoid the thermodynamic process and go com directly electric is um, from maybe 20 to 30 percent efficiency on this side to 70 percent efficiency on the other side. We introduced the uh, on for DC grid uh, years back and uh, now we use that uh, with the hybrid systems where we have a combustion engine on board, we have batteries on board, we have pure battery vessels, we invest more in development of that and then we are in, in a research and pilot side uh, also with the fuel cells. So for me as an engineer, somebody who likes the technology and, uh, and stuff, this, it's such an exciting age where within a few years we've gone from very traditional uh, setups, uh, power plants on board vessels, to looking at energy storage and now we have fuel cells around the corner, uh, we have different power plant configurations, it's, uh, it's extremely exciting for somebody like me. In my thinking, the fourth paradigm age of oil and mass production is now in that kind of stage that, that there is certain threat that the uh, sixth paradigm, the carbon-free clean tech, is really pushing through and that can change the game.